So first of all, actually Hong Kong is the freest economy in the world for 25 years in a row already. So we encourage a free flow of capital, so which means that actually it's very easy to invest in Hong Kong. So this is especially appealing for startup because startup will need to have the capital to support it. And also um, we are close to uh, mainland China, which provides a great market uh, for the manufacturing sector. And Hong Kong itself is a financial institution. And also we have a very big uh, service industry here. So which means that no matter what kind of uh, startup you are, what kind of segment you want to target, Hong Kong is the place for you to do the startup. So first of all, one thing has not changed in Hong Kong since the 60s is the entrepreneur spirit. Because Hong Kong actually has uh, no natural resources, we have a limited amount of space and also a limited amount of labor. So these kinds of entrepreneurship spirit and also the innovative um, mindset is always here in Hong Kong. So what, ha but what has changed in the last five years is the amount of resources the government has put in to promote the startup culture. That is the one thing that has changed. Yeah, I think the challenge, uh, you, you are right, so the, um, the high cost, the living cost here is a challenge. But I would say that on the other hand, it is also an opportunity because it creates a lot of uh, difficult issues and difficult issues will require technology, which means that there's a lot of problem and opportunity for the startup to solve. The other problem that we are facing, I would say the challenge is the, um, the amount of the talents here. Um, because Hong Kong has a limited number of population, the space here is limited anyway, so it becomes uh, increasingly important for us to continue to upgrade our capability in terms of talent here to match with the level of startup they will want to attract. So um, Hong Kong, as I mentioned, has a very limited amount of space. So what it means is that, first of all, um, most people in Hong Kong do not have a garage. So if you think about how a startup is being created, first of all, you will have an idea and very seldom that you will immediately form a company when you have an idea. So when you have an idea, you will need to have a space, a community to kind of work with to see whether your idea works or not. But because people here do not have a garage, so we here in our space provide the space um, and the equipment and the community for those people to test out whether their idea really works or not. If it works, then they can form a startup and eventually go to the incubation program that we provide by the other um, public sector here in Hong Kong. The other thing is that um, nowadays, you know, if your startup is on software or is talking about a concept, then you do not need much equipment to do it. But if you are talking about a startup related to the manufacturing sector or you want to do the prototyping, you will not have money to invest in so many different kinds of uh, equipment to do that. But here we have the Maker Space, which is part of InnoSpace, that provide this kind of equipment and facilities for them to convert their idea into a prototype. So this is the value that we are providing to the startup in the community of Hong Kong. Well, that is a unique position of Hong Kong that we actually can accommodate all sorts of startup. Because if you are doing a, if you are a fintech startup, then of course Hong Kong is a financial center. So that's a lot of opportunities. If you are related to the service industry, we have a huge base, a very diversified service industry here. And if you are targeting the manufacturing sector, even though you cannot find it in Hong Kong, but it's just across the border in, in the Greater Bay Area, there are lots of the manufacturing um, segments there that actually can provide opportunity for them to do the startup and really sell the product technology, etc. So that's why I say this is a unique position of Hong Kong that we are kind of having everything. The one piece of advice I will provide to the startup is that don't just think about the support and all the capital that they may get from the private sector, but more importantly is look for the support and the 
resources that they may get from the public sector. So, for example, Hong Kong Productivity Council and Inner Space is one good example. And then there's a lot of the other uh, public bodies, such as the Science Park, Invest Hong Kong, Cyberport, etc., that actually provide different types of support. And also, Hong Kong government has funding. We have 40 plus funding, different types of funding available. So, of course, not all of them will be applicable to the startup, but some of them will be. So look around, you know, think about how to make use of the public money because we are here to support the startup no matter where you are from.